been a full year since I have filmed this Just Egg video. So we're gonna do an update today. I wanted to do this because this video for some reason has recently become way more popular than it was last year. And a lot of you guys are commenting and leaving suggestions and I just want you guys to know that I have taken them all into consideration over the past year that this video has been up. And I have tried it different ways since then. That was literally like the first time trying it without any seasoning. And I said that in the video, I said like, we're not gonna do anything extra. We're just gonna make it plain and let you know how it tastes from there. So now, this time I'm going to season it how you guys have suggested. I'm not putting any onions and peppers and all that stuff in there because I don't feel like that today. Um, so we're just gonna do the nutritional yeast that I have, um, some pepper and some black salt. This has been so highly requested underneath that video. Oh, make it with black salt, make it with black salt. So that's what we're gonna do. So we have buttered the pan with this Earth Balance soy free butter um, or buttery spread. Can't get this butter off of here. Get it off, okay. It's a little smoky because this has been on for a couple seconds. I did turn it down. I like to shake this up. This is literally the last of this that I have. I use about a quarter of it to like serve myself. So I actually like for the fire to be a little higher on here. I feel like this cooks a little faster, if that makes sense, and better this way. So I'm gonna just take it off the heat for a second so it's not too, too hot. It has been sitting here for a little bit. And I'm just going to literally scramble this like I do scrambled eggs. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's literally scrambling up like scrambled eggs, scrambled, like scrambled eggs, just like last time. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little nutritional yeast on here, just for a little of that flavor. And I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper and some black salt. Just a quick sprinkle. And then I'm gonna break it up in here. I noticed that when I put it in before while it's still liquidy, sometimes I over season it. So I like to do it while these are firming up. And I like my eggs scrambled, so this is pretty much scrambled eggs at this point. This is literally so quick and so easy to make. Put it back on the heat for a second. It's on one, it's not up very high. And the nutritional yeast dissolves like immediately because it's warm, the food. And this is, it's really firming up like scrambled eggs. It still blows my mind that this looks so much like scrambled eggs. Don't mind my phone, guys. I'm just getting some close-up video for you guys. And some of you had some things to say about my paper plates last time because they were styrofoam. Okay, listen, I literally had just moved in that week and I just hadn't picked up anything yet. I like to use paper plates because there's no reason for me to dirty up a plate if I live alone. It just literally makes no sense. So I'm just gonna put this on here. It's literally the last of it. Let's move this out of the way. So I'm gonna do a taste test again. I've already tasted these, but just for you guys because so many of you are finding this other video and you're literally commenting the same stuff over and over. So I just kind of want to show you guys that yes, I make it with black salt and black pepper and nutritional, ye nutritional yeast. And it's so much better. It has so much more flavor. It actually does taste like scrambled eggs now. It actually tastes like scrambled eggs with cheese. I don't know if that's because I used the nutritional yeast this time or what, but um, yeah, I actually really like it. Um, it has replaced eggs for me. So Just Egg, I give you guys an eight now. And just to comment on this as well, the price is actually only, I wanna say $3.99 or $4.99 now at Whole Foods, which is amazing because when I first bought this, it was $8 last year at ShopRite. And it's still, I think, $7.99 at ShopRite for some reason. But at Whole Foods, you can find this for $4.99. So I live in Jersey. Um, other people have said at other supermarkets like Kroger and wherever you live, you may be able to find it. So just check a local supermarket in your area and it may be less pricey. $4.99 or $3.99 is good 
for me, I'm good with spending that. $8 was a bit much. So I'm actually happy that this has gone down in price the way that it has. So I just wanted to do a quick review, just kind of updating you guys on the Just Egg situation. I actually really like it now that I have learned how to properly cook it and season it. I also made it in a nonstick pan this time. Last time I made it in a cast iron pan. But again, I had just moved in. I didn't have all of the things I needed yet. So I was just cooking it in what I had. Now I have the proper things to make it. So I suggest having a nonstick pan, um, these ingredients, some nutritional yeast, black salt is what gives it that egg flavor. This is what gives it more of a cheese flavor. I have done it um, with onions and peppers as well. If you guys would like to see a video on that, comment below and let me know. Uh, yeah, so that's really it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything to say, leave it down below. Subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.